What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys an episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide. The series go through all the weapons in Call of Duty Ghost, breaking them down in three minutes or less, giving you guys the most important facts and some of my own opinions to help you create better classes and do better in Ghost multiplayer. So, uh, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Chainsaw LMG. This thing is definitely a very unique weapon and it can be a lot of fun to use and actually pretty effective if you use it right. So let's check this thing out. So, uh, first and foremost, we always start off with the iron sights and guess what? This one doesn't have any. Obviously, you guys know the chainsaw is the only weapon in Call of Duty Ghost where you cannot aim down sight. You can pull the left trigger and make the hip spread go a little bit smaller than it is normally, but uh, there is no like actual aiming down sight. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about using optics or you know anything in that regard. Now, uh, next up, as for the damage, this is where this thing struggles a little bit. So it does 34 damage up close and then drops down to 24 damage at a distance, which makes it a three to five shot kill and the weakest of all of the LMGs in the game. So obviously that's not a good thing, but it makes up for it in its next characteristic, which is its rate of fire. It does 857 rounds per minute, which is far above the average of the other three LMGs in the game, which is 712. So yeah, I mean, this thing, it doesn't do a lot of damage per bullet, but it dumps a lot of bullets down range. So it kind of makes up for it uh, in that way. Now, uh, the next thing we usually take a look at for these weapons is the recoil. And you can see the recoil plot for the chainsaw right here, but honestly, it's not all that relevant on this weapon. I mean, the, the big negative effect of recoil on most weapons is that when you're shooting, it's going to cause your gun to kick so much that you're not shooting at the enemy anymore and you're missing shots. And with the chainsaw, you're always going to be missing shots. You can't aim down sight with this thing, so only like half or a third or a quarter of your bullets are going to hit anyway. So it doesn't really matter what the recoil is like. like the, the recoil typically stays still. You miss your shots just because you can't aim down sight and put them exactly where you want them. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about the recoil on this thing, guys. It's really not a big deal. Now, uh, next up for magazine size, you've got 80 rounds in your mag, which uh, for all the other LMGs, that's 100. So, you know, it's 20% less. Not that big of a deal, but it is kind of a downside. And then also for reload speed, you've actually got the slowest reload speed out of all the LNGs. So you got 8.83 seconds if you're completely empty, or it's only eight seconds if there's at least one bullet left when you go to reload. So, you know, again, that's kind of a, a slightly negative thing, but, you know, a second or two on reloading is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, yeah, those are the base stats of this weapon. Now, what do I recommend for attachments and perks? Well, my favorite attachment setup is muzzle break and rapid fire. This thing already shoots pretty fast, but if you put rapid fire on it, this thing turns into an absolute killing machine. And then as for perks, I like sleight of hand for reloading because it's already got slow reloading. If you're using rapid fire, you're going to have to reload a lot. Then I also like agility and marathon because I can't stand how slow LMGs move. Reflex because oftentimes I'll switch to my pistol to be able to move across you know large areas of the map quickly And then also steady aim is great because again you can't aim down sight So you want to try to find any way possible to get more shots on target So uh, boom there you guys have it exactly right at the three minute mark right there Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you guys check out this weapon I mean, It's not something that you should use if you're trying to you know do really really well And you want to try really hard and make sure you're setting yourself up for the best success you could possibly have But if you want to just try something different and be surprised by something new that has a completely different play style but can also like really start tearing things up and you can do really well with, this is the perfect class to do that with. It's very, very refreshing and it's just, it's a lot of fun to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the chainsaw. Check out the YouTube videos. See you yet. Catch you all later. Bunch of great videos coming soon. Peace out.